Magandang araw muli sa ating mga manonood and welcome to another episode of Sini Pinoy. At ako po ang inyong lingkod, Dr. Gigi Javier Alfonso. At ngayong araw, isang batikang aktres, screenwriter, director sa mundo ng pelikula at telebisyon ang makakasama natin ngayong araw. Tanyag siya sa kanyang comedic roles noong dekada 70, tulad ng Temptation Island, 1980, at sa TV shows na School Bukol, 1977, kilala rin siya bilang screenwriter ng iba't ibang pelikula tulad ng Palipat-Lipat, Papalit-Palit, 1982, directed by Lino Broca, and Lalaki sa Buhay ni Celia, 1997, Kinagigiliwan ng mga manonood bilang si Bibet Bisaya. Please welcome Bibet Ortesa. Hi Bibet. Hi oh. Gigi. <laughs> ano naman ang kinabibisiyan mo ngayong mga araw na to? TV UP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you darling. <laughs> Ito ah, before I begin, let's take a break. Magbabalik ang Sini Pinoy. <laughs> Welcome back to Sini Pinoy, and our guest for today is veteran TV and film writer Bibet Ortesa. From family, let me now ask you about your career as a writer. Umpisa seventies, RPN nine, then you also became a writer, co-host of morning show with Ariel Loreta, and eventually TV show. Ah, we tan kita si Bianan mo. Si Armida, si Carmina. Everybody knows Armida, of course. And tell us about that experience. Paano, at saka ito ha, I'll t- ask you, ah, sige, I'll ask you later. Ito mo ng experience mo with with Armida, si Carmina. Okay. And you I was, start in television. I was a writing major. Okay. Mm-hmm. But even as a writing major in UP, mm-hmm. I was also chairman of the UP Repertory Company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, minsan, meron kami mga Uh, workshops and seminars, and we would invite guests to speak to us. So, um, one of the guests in one uh, symposium namin na ginawa sa lumang bahay nila Cristina Pantoja Hidalgo ah? sa so New Manila. Oh. Eh, G, bahay nila oh. Jane, no? Oh. Of course, di pa Jane ang tawag ko sa kanya. Hindi pa Jane, no. Armida was a guest. <laughs> oh. And yeah. she brought with us samples of her uh, show scripts. Sabi niya, o ito, nagdala ko ng sample ng, uh, ng scripts ng aawitan kita dahil malay nyo. Balang araw, isa sa inyo, maging writer ko. Mm-hmm. So, in a week, yung script. Kanya. So, finally, I was already in, in UP, in KBA, KBS News and Public Affairs Department. I was there, akala ko, as a stopgap uh, measure lang dahil katangahan ko, akala ko, pa nag-graduate ka ng UP, automatic pasok ko na sa College of Law. <laughs> Hindi pa lang may lae. Hindi ko alam na may entrance exam. So sabi ko dun sa ano, babalik na lang ako, sabi ko next year para mag-entrance exam. So anyway, so there I was sa KBS. Si Armida at saka yung writer niya, si Marina Feleo Gonzalez, nag-away. So nag-away sila, she wanted to pack up the, the shooting. Sabi nung kanyang executive producer, si Julie Silueta, ah, Armida, sabi niya, Sayang naman kasi yung ating nakuhang ob van na pinahiram sa atin. Mag-shooting tayo sa bahay ni Aguinaldo sa uh, Cavite. Huwag mo na ipack up. Bakit hindi mo subukan itong bago kong friend, writer sa uh, News and Public Affairs? Sabi ni Arminda, sige, papunta mo rito. Nag-meeting kami. Nag-meeting kami. Ang topic daw, kalayaan, Gigi naman. You don't talk to a, to a UP graduate na member oh. ng UP Writers Club, na dalawang terms nag, naging staff ng kolegyan. Tapos, mm. alam nga namang hindi mo alam ang tungkol sa kalayaan. Oh, so sabi niya, if you can submit that to me before lunch, ay, uh, before 5 o'clock, sabi niya, it's a go. Sinulat ko. 
Kasi nga, ang dali para sa akin because nga kalayaan ng topic. Mm -hmm. no? Nakailang rally na ako sa buhay ko at that time. No? So, dinala ko. And right there and then, the woman who was going to be my mother-in-law in the future, she wrote a check for 500 pesos. Yeah. Hindi ko alam kung paano ako nakauwi, kung lumipad ako o lumutang. Tuwang -tuwa because, uh -huh. because that 500 peso check took care of all the books and the uniforms of my siblings. Fantastic. I so, didn't know. My mother, my, my mother couldn't believe it. You know, well, what separates you from other artists really is the fact that you are an activist. And pati ka ng concerned artists of the Philippines. Ikaw, Presidente ngayon, di ba? Chairman, yes. Oh, chairman, chairman. chairman. Alongside with Lino Broca, di ba? Ma-aktivista kayo, et cetera. At nasa UP ka at that time. Yeah. Doon ba nag-umpisa? Well, I was already uh, an activist sa, Prior. sa UP. Okay. I was, uh, chairman, uh, I was Secretary General of Samang Radical. Mm -hmm. But bago no, nung first year ako, um, nagsok them from not them nagsok them nagsok pa ako them. tanong ko yung pagiging aktivista nga ito ba eh importante oh yung paninindigan ng isang artistang bayan di ba nung panahon ng martial law at ngayon pag dumaan ka kasi sa isang kabataan na sumasakay ka ng jeep oh. nakikipagkwentuhan ka sa tricycle driver nakikita mo yung kalagayan ng iba in front of your eyes hindi mo pwedeng ma-isolate ang sarili mo sa kung ano-anong iniisip ng, ng ibang tao, mm -hmm. kung ano pinagdadaanan nila. And, yun na nga, dahil na rin sa sinabi ng tatay ko na you share with others. Yeah. I couldn't share money at that time because I didn't have money. I could only share my service. Oh. Ay, itutuloy natin yan. We'll be back. Nagbabalik ang Simi Pinoy at ang panauhin natin ngayon ay si Miss Bibeth Ortesa. Bibeth, you have been a script writer, a screenwriter most of your career. I'm curious, what do you as a good script? For me, a good script is a script that doesn't look like it's there. Yeah. Oh. It has to be um, natural. At saka, several things happening at the same time, pero klaro yung focus na each scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang totoong buhay, sabay-sabay yes. nangyayari. Yes. Yan. Tama. So, ano naman ang pinaka-challenging na script na ginawa mo? Lahat. Always a challenge, no? Yeah. You, you, um, pero yung isang iniyakan ko na script na talagang iyak ako ng iyak, mm -hmm. Yung script ko for inagaw mo ang lahat sa akin kasi mas mabilis nung araw yung old versions ng Word sa computer. Kung ito ay alisin mo yung autosave, uh -huh. mas mabilis ka. Kasi pag autosave, mabagal, ganyan-ganyan. So, inalis ko yung autosave. Oh, oh. Tapos, nung, papa, nung yung aking bakya na suot, yung sa ilalim ng computer desk ko, ah. may, may electronic strip na gano'n. Nakalagay doon yung mga kung ano-anong mga uh, nakasaksak. Inaabot ko yung bakya ko na gano'n. Pag-abot ko, mm. natamaan ito ng paa ko, gumanon yung bakya, bumagsak doon sa switch nung ano, namatay yung uh, oh, no. computer, hindi nakasave. Hindi na save. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, Tumatawag na ang mother-in-law ko, asa na script? Mami, kasi ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> Ako, Beto, huwag mo akong gagawa ng kwento ng ganyan. Blah, 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 wow. blah, 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 um, blah. Isubmit mo yan, Mami, ang gabi, kundi lagot ka sa akin. Wow. Buti na lang, I, I somehow was able to configure na merong mga na-retain. May, may mga portions, so I had to fill in yung mga, mga hindi na, yun ang mga iniyakan ko. But okay. 
seriously, for me, every script is mahirap. Mm -hmm. Lalong lalo na yung, even the, the simplest comedies, yung mga ganyan pang sitcom. Kasi kailangan pa rin yung approach mo nandoon. Years later, uh, I was working on a, I was head writer for a afternoon soap opera. And then yung creative di director namin was Chito Ronyo. Mm -hmm. And then, eh, si Chito, he has a temper. Meron, meron kami isang writer doon, na, na, ang nilagay niya sa script, C-U, letter C, U. Sabi ni Chito, ano yan? Sabi niya, direct C, C U po, C U. Eh bakit C U na letter C at letter U? Direct para shortcut po. Alam mo yung dinampot ni Chito yung ano? Yung <laughs> ashtray? Pa! Oh, hindi oh. Niya, talaga hindi naman niya tinamaan niya. Tinakot niya lang mga ganun. Kasi talagang, even when I was, uh, when I was, uh, nagkabali, nagkabati na si Armida at si Marina, and then, some of my scripts, Armida would give to Marina. Tingin mo to, okay na. Marina would would uh, constantly admonish me. Ayusin mo ang spelling mo. Ayusin mo yung uh, ganito mo. Tapos pagsasabi ko sa kanya, why is it important na ang writer, ang script writer, tama ang spelling? Kung mm. maasa ka ng ginagawa ng ibang departamento, ng tama yung trabaho nila, mm -hmm. gawin mo rin ng tama yun. That's still, of course, different from from yung pag-build up ng character, yung flow ng story. Mm -hmm. Basta even the little things, you don't take for granted. Yun ang, yun ang sabi ni Marina. I remember, okay. nung una, may guilt. <laughs> when I was writing school bukol, nakasalubong ko yung teacher ko sa playwriting at advanced playwriting sa Amelia La Peña Bonifacio. Mm -hmm. Nasa faculty center ako. Sabi ko, uh, Ma'am Amel, sabi ko, okay ba sa inyo na na sinusulat ko, school bukol, kasi that, that time it was the number one sitcom. Yeah. And then sabi niya sa akin, ay naku, bebe, Why not? Oh. ang pagsusulat, pagsusulat, lahat ng mga natutunan mo sa ating klase, yun din ang gagamitin mo sa pagsusulat ng school bukol at ng kahit ano pang pagsusulat. Pag, talking about pagsusulat, actress, you're a writer, actress, director, so, paano mo nababalance yan, ano? Di ba, may balance yan. Oh. Kasi sex symbol din naman ako, eh. <laughs> It, or, or, ito ba yung dala ng ating industriya na kailangan versatile ka? Dapat alam mo lahat? What no, do you say? Kasi ako, uh -oh. ano eh, ayoko maging, ayoko maging bored. If I'm not doing yeah. this thing, I want to be doing something else. Um, sometimes when, when I'm on the set doing, ano, doing a movie or at a uh, teleserye, dala ko yung laptop ko kasi nandun ako sa tent at may sinusulat ako. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember this time I was producing, I was going to produce the uh, um, Hari ng Tondo for Carlitos, no? Okay. And then, uh, but last day ng, may, sh may shooting kami and then sa gabi, May meeting na kami with the production, with Robert Arevalo, with everybody involved. And Carlitos was arriving from Singapore. Eh, yung pala, 35 se sequences ako dun sa aking soap opera. To be shot on the same day. So, oh. sabi ko, paano kaya gagawin na ito? Oh. Ang director ko was a good director na walang ego. Mm -hmm. Si Sok, si Topacio. Uh -oh. Sabi ko, direct ito ang problema ko. Ganito, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Sabi lang ni Soxie. Tuhog. Okay, ganito ang gawin natin. Oh. Habang sinaset up ko yung location dito, di ba director ka rin? Dalhin mo yung isang uh, unit, pumunta ka sa palengke, i-direct mo ang eksena mo sa sequence 3, 4, 6. Hmm. Tapos, pumunta ka sa simbahan yung eksena ang nagdadasal ka, kunan mo rin. Then, nakagawa na ako ng 7 sequences pagbalik no. ko sa set. Sabi ni Soxie, itong gagawin natin, pipigilin lang kita kung sa tingin ko mali ka. Hindi ako bababa ng van, doon ka sa set, ikaw ang mag-blocking ng lahat ng artista, ikaw ang maganito ganyan. So yung isang, corner ng, isang corner ng room, nilagyan nila ng kurtina, doon ako nagbibihis ng costume. At ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Sabi ni Soxie, ngayon, pagdating natin sa halos dulo, 
emotional yung scene mo. Dahil talagang umiiyak ka dyan. Talagang nagwawala ka at naglulupa sa'yo. Huwag kang mag-alala, sabi ni Soxie. By that time, sa pagod mo, talagang iiyak ka na. Hmm. Nagawa ko nga, 7.30, mapasok ako sa bahay ko. Wala pang mga bisita, nandun na ako. Oh. Nagawa ko yon. Tapos the next day... Ano yung pelikula yun? Oh. Oh, yes. And yung kay Soxie, oh. serye. Tell yung, serie. Oh, oh. Oh, with Ogie Alcacid, ako nanay ni Ogi. Tapos the next day, ah, tapos yung gabi, meeting for a movie. The next day, 9 o'clock, nakasakay na ako ng eroplano kasi pupunta ako sa Amerika para sa graduation ng anak kong babae. Hindi ko alam. At least day, hindi ko alam kung paano ko nagawa. Hindi, lumalabas ka nun sa school buko with Tito Vic and Joey. And then you really worked with a lot of directors. Ishmael Bernal, Lino Broca, Joey Gusinfi, Mario de los Reyes. Si Ishmael, naalala ko nun, galit na galit siya sa akin kasi hindi ako makaiyak sa isang eksena dahil Uh, may, yung boyfriend ko noon at that time, uh, nagpadar, katatang na... Another boyfriend? Oo. Oh, oh. Ilang katutak na boyfriend ba yan? Eh, kasalanan ko ba kung nagaganda oh, nila sa akin? Of oh, uh, <laughs> Sabi ni ano, may, nakatanggap ako ng ano, ng mga postcard. Kasi nung araw, mm -hmm. postcard pa. Siyempre, ang saya-saya ko. Mm -hmm. Sabi ni Ismael, ay naku, you are hopeless. Sabi ni Ismael, Ismael. But we, we were friends, of course. And then, uh, Si Mario de los Reyes naman yung, I was in the cast of his first movie, High School Circa, 65. Tapos, but ang ano ko noon, I also did mga movies kay Elwood. But I have to narrate this incident when you were asking me how I managed to be breadwinner. No, in those days. Ah, breadwinner, yes. Yeah. Tatawag ako kay Douglas Quijano, who was an active producer, line producer sa Regal Films. So, Douglas... Kailangan ko ng ano eh, 16,000 pa yung kulang ko para sa tuition eh. O sige, ganito gawin natin. So, bibigyan niya ako ng budget. Ang talent fee ko ng araw, 1,000 per day. Uh, meron, akong, meron akong may pelikula si Elwood. Ako nagre-revise ng script. Sabi ni, ni Douglas, lagay mo sa sarili mo sa isang eksena, sa mga, mga eksena. So, kahit na eksena may magdodorbel, oh. ako magbubukas, o oh, 1,000 na yun. Oh. Yung mga ganun. Oh. Uh, Tama yan. Alam mo naman, kung gusto mong gawin, nagagawa ng paraan. Kung hindi mo magawa, merong dahilan. So, um, that, but still, still I managed kasi I wanted to learn. I was so enthralled by, oh. you know, by the industry. You yes. know, I come from a generation, ano eh, I'm, I'm radio sitcom old. Okay. I listened to radio sitcoms at mm -hmm. doon ako nahasa. Yung use of Tagalog, use of ano, uh, yung mga shows ni Dolphy nung araw sa radio, inabot ko yun, napapakinggan ko eh. So much so that when his, si Eric Kison got me to write the biography of his father, si Dolphy, uh, hindi ko narating ito mag-isa. First day pala ng interview nung narinig ko si Tito Dolphy magsalita, In a Tagalog that really belonged to this distinct period, I realized that I could not write about his life in the third person. It had to be a first narration, first person narration done by him. Inayos ko na lang ang chronology. Lente niya. Oh, dahil ibang iba talaga yung mga. Can you imagine? Ang tawag pa niya sa Saint Luke's Hospital sa Lucas. Oh, at least lumabas. Kasi yung unang St. Luke's nasa Tondo eh, where, where he was born and grew up. So, uh -oh. San Lucas. Ikaw, you've been working with all these uh, uh, legends and all that. Pero talking about Reina Films also, I want to ask you about that. What made the venture commercially successful? Um, I was not the first. I was not the first writer of Reina films. The first writer of Reina films was Raquel Villavicencio. Oh, okay. He hinted in kita sa langit. And then, pero kasi nula tin. Meron din. Ang ang sinu ang after yung sel ligayang itawo mo sa akin. Oh, ligay. Celia. That was very good. That was critically acclaimed. And then Celia. Oh. Ah, alalakas sa buhay ni Celia. Oh. Ah. Abot kamay ang pangarap, mm -hmm. several, and then meron pang yes. Asusena. Oo, oh, oh, Asusena. Oh, I yeah. remember that. So, Another... what made it uh, successful? Kasi, 
we were able to keep to the budget kasi uh, well ang joke ng mga mga artista ngayon hindi pa uso ang lockdown kay Tita Mids lockdown, lockdown na, na. Huh? kasi talagang ang contract mo sa kanya was you would be available on the set for uh, 21 shooting days within 35 calendar days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ganun ang mga... Stricto yeah. sa ano, At saka, scheduling. Yung sa budget niya, halimbawa, pagka si Carlitos nagparevise sa akin ng script, ang pagpapa Xerox ng script, hindi sasagutin ni Hermida yan. Kaming mag-asawa <laughs> na ang magbabayad. Oh, oh, ang, katwiran, na. ang katwiran ng mother in ko ng araw, ay kung hindi ako magtuturo sa inyo, sino? Correct. Pero ano, di ba? Not only budget. Quality eh. Ay, ano meron. Ano, eh? Si Caritas may mga ha? tricks naman siya. Pag, oh, uh, oh. Meron siya halimbawa, pag meron siyang gustong gawin na eksena, sasabihin niya sa the late James Cooper na makeup artist or sa akin, dalhin mo ang mami sa vegan. Bumili kayo ng mangga. Kasi okay. ang gagawin niya sa set, pababaklas niya yung isang wall ng isang bahay na ginagamit na location kasi maglalagay siya ng isang scaffolding doon para yung kanyang camera makapagdali na akala mo nandun sa loob ng bahay. May mga, uh -huh. may mga, like for instance yung ano, yung isang movie yung saan ka man naroon, um, si Kalitos was nominated as Best Director sa Film Academy. Yes. Hindi siya bumaba, nandun siya. Yung pala, kaya hindi siya sumama kasi meron siyang isisingit na close-up ni Richard Gomez. At oh, 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 ayaw niya malaman ng nanay niya. Kasi nung araw kasi <laughs> ano yun eh, film. Hindi uh, naman digital eh, film. Correct. And film. my mother no, was so strict. Pag lumampas si Carlito sa budget na film roles niya, ibabawas niya sa talent fee niya. Hindi lang film roles, kung hindi pati yung cost of development ng, ng negatibo. Oh, so, kailangan talaga your discipline. Yeah, no? always oh, pero on your toes. Tell me, tell me about this, you know, ato Uh, yung past elections, no? Kasi, how important would be the message of films? At, I'd like to ask you, et, tayong mga uh, nandito sa paggawa ng content, paggawa ng pelikula, television shows, okay ba yung direksyon natin? Nakakarating ba sa mga tao? And, you know, looking at what happened in 2022 elections, sa akin, ang biggest Ay. ano dyan, mm -hmm. Gigi, yung pag ikaw ba nakaratay na sa kama at ramdam mong malapit ka ng mamatay. Pagka tinanong mo sa sarili mo, anong ginawa mo para sa bayan, para sa iba? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anong sagot mo? No. Kung kaya mong sagutin yan, alam mong meron kang kontribusyon. Hindi ko sinasabing pinakamalaki na ang kontribusyon ko dahil maraming nagbigay pa ng higit eh. May mga namatay, may mga pinatay. And uh, so, tama ba yung ating direksyon? Sa akin right now, sapat na yung may nagtatanong kung tama ba ang ating direksyon. Mahirap yung wala man lang nagtatanong, wala man lang nagtataka wala man lang nag-aalala. We'll be back after a few moments here on Sine Pinoy. Welcome back dito sa Sin Pinoy. Kasama natin si Miss Bibet Ortesa. <laughs> so, eto, nandito tayo sa uh, slum book phase. Okay. okay. Short answers. Kung pwede, one word. Kung hindi naman, may silang. Okay. If you could get one superpower, what would it be? The ability to make people see what is wrong and for them to want to do something about it. What is something that people think you would never do, but you have? Well, um, at one time in a workplace, um, 
guys, we're talking about how, how chesty I was. So, napikun ako. One day, I, I had enough. So, stairwell pa lang. Kinuha ko yung, inalis ko na yung aking bra. Inalbotan ko na yung aking blouse. And then, nung narinig ko naman sila nag-uusap tungkol sa boobs ko, binuksan ko yung blouse ko. Sabi ko, ano, boobs? Kayo ng boobs. Sige nga, sige nga. Yun. Tapos, surprisingly, after that, ginalang na nila ako. Uh, okay. What's your ideal working environment as a writer? May freedom. Okay. What's your favorite local movie? Marami eh. I can't be, I can't be How about foreign fair. movie? Marami din. Marami din. Kasi pag feeling ko, ang taong nakakapili ng isang favorite movie lang eh, parang, paano pag pinapili ka ng favorite book mo, isa lang ang pipiliin mo. Hindi mo oh, pwede. Okay. Director, local. Parang kasal ako sa kanya. Ah, of course naman. Okay, foreign director. Marami rin. Actually, um, I can't really choose the, the, the kung sino mga favorite. Mah mahina ako dyan. Eh, oh, kasi actor. Favorite actor. Local muna. Well, marami rin. Marami. Actress. Marami rin, but I have to say, I, I watched, um, inagaw mo lahat sa akin again, and I really loved Armida's uh, performance there as a yeah. dementic uh, mother of Maricel Suriano, and I also liked Maricel there. Yeah, yeah. So, biggest what if? What if may talagang kalayaan ang bawat manggagawa ng pelikulang Pilipino to think outside of the box. Yeah. Kasi ang problema natin is, uh, sinusulat pa lang natin, iniisip na kagad natin ng problema ng censorship. Something in the past that, what would it be? That you could change. Gusto kong ibalik yung, yung walang traffic. <laughs> Favorite pastime? Oh. During COVID-19. Ah, uh, dalawang beses kami na COVID na mag-asawa eh. Mm. But yung first one, was nakulong kami sa isang kwarto na nang, sa kwarto namin ng mga three weeks, walang labasan at doon ko na-realize may hangganan pala ang pagmamahal. Okay. Uh, pet, cat or dog? We have we have two dogs. Okay. Music, genre? I think Carlitos plays classical piano, but me, I personally prefer jazz. Thank you very much, Bibeth. Salamat sa'yo. Salamat din sa'yo, Gigi. <laughs> Thank you. Let me go say goodbye, everyone. But we'll be back again very soon. Next week, in fact. So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. At maraming salamat kay Bibeth Ortesa for being with us dito sa Sine Pinoy. <laughs>